in this lecture we will see about the door setting so for that first of all you need to select the door you can see the door tool and after that you just simply need to enter ctrl t to to bring back the, uh, the options okay so as you can see here on the left side uh, here uh, we have uh, these different tools available that is hint door rotating door you can see how this one is looking sliding door there are many more options here okay as you can see from here as well okay so now that uh, we have seen this thing so what i will do is i will go here and choose this hinge door and after that i will scroll up you can see in hinge uh, doors 24 we have these uh, doors available and what i will do for my project i'm going to select this door as you can see door 24 is selected and here first of all after that let's go to this preview and position this is the first tab here so if you look at here you will see that this is the width of uh, that door and this is the height of the door and if you look at the story uh, sill to story okay you will see that is 100 uh, uh, m that is uh, how far uh, how how much uh, it will be at the distance from the uh, story okay so i will make this one zero obviously and from here on the right side you can see that we have this a uh, plan view if you go ahead and switch on this one you will see that this is uh, the 2d view you can see and if you look here you will see that this is exactly the 3d view as you can see here okay and if you look from here this is the image of that door so from here you have uh, these four options available so what i will do is i will uh, keep this one to 3d okay and now uh, now that we have understand this thing we will go ahead and close this uh, preview and positioning let's close this one so here if you look at the hinge door setting you are going to get all the possible settings of the door and if you go here and click here you will see that there are lots of options available so you really don't need to remember all these options of course so what i will do is i will just simply first of all go to this first one and here uh, what i will do is right now you can see that this is the wall hold dimension as you can see here so this time i will go and choose this phone number that is a current dimension okay so in this way you have to change these things on and now after that we i will just simply click on next to see that if i want any kind of uh, uh, door leaf or if i want to make any kind of changes in these here so as you can see here that this is a long list you just don't need to remember anything you just need to select the first one and after that you just simply need to keep scrolling the things okay this is very easy you just simply need to select on this one right now we are at nominal sizes and tolerance just simply click on that next one you can see that we have this totally if you click on this one you will get all these different options here so what i will do is i will go uh, if you choose this let's say hv grid then you have that option of the grid as you can see here that the detail level is here and you will get all these things so right now what i will do is i will stick with this style one okay this is a basic style and if you look look at the handles you will see that we have these handle options available so i will just simply select on that one so whatever changes i'm gonna make here you can see that one in uh, review and position so let me show you okay so now you can see that how this one is looking you can see the handle here okay okay so now after that what you have to do is you have to again click on hinge door setting and here in this thing you will see all these details that we have just set up after that i will just simply click on this one and here we have this uniform width if you want this one you can just tick mark on this one if you don't want this one you can just simply and tick mark on this one and after that what you have to do is you have to just simply click on next one so here you will see that if you have any kind of natural uh, ventilation you can just simply click on that one if you don't have any kind of natural ventilation you can just simply untick that one so as of now i'm going to turn this off and again you have to click on next and you have this style is selected uh, in the previous tab okay again you have to click on this one you need to uh, now this is tab for the handle again you have to click on this one and here if say you have a door you you have the door type and all these things are available again you have to click on next 2d symbol display that is fine let's click on next 
and here we have the model attribute let's click on next so if you are uh, looking at this thing you will understand that we don't need to change each and everything but it is a uh, uh, but I am uh, suggesting you that you should uh, keep going through all of these so that if you want to make any kind of changes you can make it there so as you can see here that this is reverse so if I want any kind of reversal I just simply need to let's say I will make this one 50 okay and now you can see here now let's again click on next so here we have this reversal if you make this one zero you will see the difference here you can see that has been gone to this tab if you have these kinds of reversal you can choose that from here as well so but i'm gonna stick with this 50 that is fine and after that i will click on next and here uh, we have the closer type you can see that we have these uh, no closer here and if you look at no closer you will see there's nothing this is a thickness limit if you want uh, to change this one you can change that one as well Again, let's go to the next tab and here we have this uh, masonry art uh, if you have any kind of art you can just simply select on that one and in that you have uh, these options available but i will just simply untick this one let's go to next one this is the model attribute okay so as you can see here that uh, we don't have uh, much more detail here so let's go ahead here we have also the fixtures and fittings so uh, yeah so if you want to make any kind of things that is uh, the ceiling uh, the casing is outside and inside you can tick mark that one if you don't have that you can just untick that one so we have these details here so let's go ahead and see if you have threshold you can just simply click on the threshold and here you can put the value so i'm gonna untick this one let's go to the next tab and here if you look at the still uh, if you have still door you can put the seal here and from here you can choose the seal type as you can see here that this will this can be timber seal brick seal or stone seal but right now i don't uh, want to place that one so i will just simply untick that one and after that i will simply click on this one here so this is casing outside you can see here that uh, if you have casing outside you can see this is similar to the casing inside so let's simply click on next this is inside casing you can see this is inside casing simply click on next if you want to make any kind of changes just simply put the value so let's click on next here so this is shunt shed if you have shunt shed you can just simply click on that one and from here you can actually choose uh, the option here you can see you can see if you have that one so right now i don't have the shunt shed so i will just simply untick that one and let's let's go to next and here we have this uh, model attribute if you want to change this color you can see this is casing outside this is casing inside if you want to change this color you can change that one as well so right now i don't want to make any kind of changes here so let's click on next again we have floor plan and section that is looking fine i don't think so that you need to make any kind of changes here let's go to next and you can see the minimal spacing is uh, there if you want to make any kind of changes you can just set it out here let's go to next tab and here in the description you can put the cost you can put all the details whatever you want you can see the finish hinges and lock set as well so this is the end of whatever uh, we are doing the door setting and if you look, look closely here, you can see that we have gone through all these from this nominal size and tolerance to this description so in this way you have to set up your doors so after that what i will do is i will just simply click on okay so these are some of the important settings that you that you need to keep in your mind before setting up the doors